Jay is back with another daily video and in this video I have a banger for you. I'm going to show you how you can make $200 in two weeks without doing any of the work. And it's important that you pay attention to each and every step in this video because I don't want you to miss out on this awesome opportunity. It is probably one of the most profitable ways you can make money online is through this method. You can scale to much more than $200 per week. You can scale to a six figure income per year with the strategy if you really put in the effort. Um, it's, it's more of a business model. So what you put in is what you're going to get out. But let's get straight into it. And you want to come over to a website called Fiverr.com. Now before you click with the video, I know I've made a lot of videos on Fiverr.com now recently, but I've had a lot of people message me on Instagram, how do I sign up, how, what information do I enter on my profile in the certain different fields that you have to put information such as the skills or the services that you offer and a lot of people aren't sure how to sign up and then they miss out on this amazing opportunity to earn. So in this video, I wanted to clear that up and completely show you what you need to enter so you can actually earn money with the strategy like I've made in one of my previous videos before. And this is more of a business model where you can actually earn, if you want to, you can even scale to five figures per month if you're really working hard enough and you put in the time. But I mean, I'm going to show you for starters how you can make $200 in two weeks without actually doing any of the work. So you'll see when you come to Fiverr.com, there's a menu bar on the top called Fiverr Pro, become a seller, sign in and join. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on the join button, which will pop up with a prompt like this, where you want to enter your email. You can also continue with your Facebook or your Google account, but I'm just going to sign up uh, my own email account. But once you enter your email and you click continue, it's going to ask you for a username and password. So I'm just going to quickly enter my username and password. Once it's done, you can click the join button. Uh, click join and you will see it will um, log you into your profile and it's going to come up with a message. You need to activate your account um, by re or doing an activation email. So I'm going to quickly activate my account by confirming my activation email. And once it's done, you will see you will come back to a page um, of notification or confirmation page on Fiverr. Your account has successfully um, been um, activated and you'll see this is a great time to edit your profile. So now what you're going to do is you want to edit your profile and make it look as professional as possible to really get more and more sales on Fiverr.com without actually doing any of the work. So you want to type in your full name, uh, you've got your email, you can have your online status. Um, so when online, your gigs are visible under the online search filter. So you can see uh, online forever. So I mean, if you want to be online all the time, a week, a day or an hour, only an hour a day. Um, but I recommend um, going on online forever and you can then go save changes. And then on the top, you'll see there's a start selling button. You want to click on that and you can see um, work your way. You bring the skill will make earning easy. There's a massive become seller button. You want to click on this. Okay. And this is going to prop up with a tab like this, where it's going to ask you to learn what makes a successful profile. Um, create your seller profile and then publish your gig. So you want to click continue. You want to click continue as well. You can read a little bit about it. Take your time in creating your profile so that it's exactly um, as you want it to be. Um, add credibility by linking out to your relevant professional network. So if you've got a YouTube channel, if you've got your own website, that's what they're talking about there. You can describe your professional skills to help you get more work. Put your face and your names, upload a professional picture of yourself, really to neaten up your profile and make it look 100 times more attractive. And then what you'll do is click continue once you've read all of that. You can see, now let's talk about the things that you want to steer clear of. So don't provide any misleading or inaccurate information. So no clickbait on this website, genuine services and products that you are going to offer. As I say, you don't need to do any of the work. You don't need to actually um, perform. If you're offering a gig on Fiverr.com, you don't need to perform any of that work yourself when you get a sale. And that's what I'm going to show you towards the end of this video. But first, I'm going to sign up and take you through the sign up process. And it is quite a process. So it's important that you stay with me and follow each step. And you can see, um, don't open any duplicate accounts. You can always create more than one gig at the same time. And once you've read that, you can click continue um, and you can see, thanks, now you're ready to create your Fiverr um, profile. So once it's done, click continue, create your profile. So now you want to enter your full name. So I'm going to enter my full name. It's good. And my profile picture, you can click on the little photo icon to open up um, your profile. I've got a nice logo of myself already. And you can add a little description of yourself and you can say something along the line. Um, let's say your niche is going to be, if you go to Fiverr, you can go to Fiverr, you can have a look at the menu bar and you can see all the different categories. So let's say digital marketing. So you can see um, an individual digital marketer with, let's say, with three years experience in social media marketing, let's say. And you can basically choose some of the various different topics that you want to offer. Um, on Fiverr.com, so you can come to the menu bar, let, even if it's video animation, choose your category um, or the services that you kind of want to sell and choose 
into basically all of the skills that you offer. So you can say, um, an, I'm an individual marketer with three years experience in social media marketing. And if you're new to the platform, like if you're new to the service that you want to offer, you don't have to lie about it and say, I've been five years experience. You can say something along the lines, I'm an individual digital marketer. I'm very new to the industry, but I'm very good at what I do in social media marketing, video marketing, email marketing, and people won't mind that. It's not like um, it's a train smash if you don't have a lot of experience um, to be honest most people don't really even aren't even really bothered by that as long as you can get the job done they will be happy so you can also maybe choose uh, web traffic uh, web traffic and conversions and conversions that's that's a decent profile you can write um, so something basic small basically to describe yourself what you do maybe a little bit of experience that you've had maybe also some achievements so for example uh, 1k network on YouTube, for example, you can description like that. Um, you can add all of your language, English, basic, any other language that you have, you can add. Um, so you can click this add new button. And once it's done, you can click continue. And now you want to enter some of your personal information. So your occupation. Um, so obviously just enter something that you want to offer with between these various different um, categories. So they've got, you can see digital marketing, graphic and design, writing, translation. Um, so in my case, this this video I'm going to use digital marketing um, and you can you choose your here your occupation so basically choose the year that you've been involved in this industry and if you've just started select 2018 or 2019 so let's just say in this case I've been in this for two years I'm going to go 2017 to 2019 and choose two to five of your best skills in digital marketing now this means you don't have to choose um, all of them you can just choose five that you want to really offer so I'm going to go social media marketing e-commerce marketing web traffic uh, let's say uh, email marketing and also video marketing. Those are the five I like. So just choose five that you like um, that you perhaps want to offer and you can add any skills that you like as well. So for example, if you're into social media marketing, you can say you are a WordPress uh, website marketing guru, for example. You can put your experience level at experts and you can add that. And you can also maybe add, let's say social media marketing, uh, advanced uh, Facebook ads strategist for example and you can put your experience level at maybe intermediate and you can basically just add um, various different skills that you've maybe got so for example if you're good at mobile apps if you're good at um, or any of the services that you want to drop ship so for example you can come to digital marketing come to social media marketing tab for example um, and you can see here I will create and manage Facebook ads. I will be your LinkedIn marketing assistant. So you can see uh, add new. Then you, if you want to drop ship this one, for example, or drop service, you can type in LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn marketing specialist. And you can add your experience level intermediate and click add. And there we go. Maybe those are three skills that you really have that you can add. So basically just add skills that you want to drop service. And if you want to come to the education and then once and come down to the education, just select your um, country of your college. So for example, I'm in South Africa, uh, I'm going to enter that. College or university name, uh, Nelson Mandela University. And you can select, if you, if you, you can select your title. Um, and you can also just enter your school. So if you've got like matric, for example, um, you can do that. So at the moment, I am doing a BSc in computers, computer science. Uh, or information technology, sorry, information technology. There we go, 2019, add that. So you can just add your graduation or your education. And then for certification, if you have any certificates that you've maybe achieved over the past. So if you have a good sort of, if you go back to certifications, okay, let's just go uh, metric certificate, for example. And you can go graduated from school. You can add that, let's just say, the year you can add that continue linkedin you can connect facebook let's just connect my facebook profile and once you've finished up with your profile you can click on the menu button you'll see there's like a picture of yourself you can click on that come to my profile and it will pop up with a page like this so then you've got some more information here which option best describes you um, you can come i'm a freelancer uh, what industry or workplace does your business belong to so in my case marketing uh, let's see if there's anything with marketing or it or software yeah software 
and internet and other safe changes. Uh, the best about Fiverr, you really want to fill in as much as information as possible to really make your profile look as good as possible. And once it's done, you can create a gig. So you can see this creates a new gig. Um, but I can click continue, click continue, click continue, click continue again. You've already filled all of this in. Click continue again and click finish. Once it's done, click finish. And then you'll see it'll pop up with a gig thing like this. So now what you can do is come over to Fiverr.com. Okay, once you're on Fiverr, choose a service or a category that you want to drop service. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use, let's say, social media marketing. Okay, I'm going to come to this page. Uh, let's have a look what they've got. I've created a Facebook ads campaign, research target audience, uh, $60. I'll, I'll say targets. Okay, so let's choose this one here. I will create a Facebook ads campaign um, and research your target audience. So let's click on this. You can see um, they've got some nice pictures here. You can save these pictures if you want to. Um, you can save this, right click, save as. You can see the different packages that they have. They've got a um, $20 basic, $50 standard, and a $95 premium. Um, and you can see I will create a Facebook ads. And what you can do is you can use this one to start off with delivery time, uh, two days. Um, it's a complete campaign plus a two ad copy. So what you can do is for the title, you can say, you can literally copy this and reword it to sound a little bit better. So you can go um, professional, professional Facebook ads campaign plus a target audience research come back here to the title and make it sound a little bit better and you can choose your category so if it's digital marketing you can select a subcategory of social media marketing a service type um, social ad campaigns then you want to go gig metadata type so you can choose um, please select the primary platform that you support. So in this case, Facebook, um, once it's done, you can add tags. You can use specific terms in these tags where people, which you think people might search to find your um, gig. So you can go Facebook ads, Facebook adverts, advertising, for example. So here we go, you can add uh, those two items. Save and continue, it will save your gig. You'll see your changes have been saved. And if you come back to um, your scope and pricing. Now you can basically add your different scopes. So you can see you've got a basic standard premium. You can have the name of your package, the details, the delivery time, um, the ads of versions created, the tracing, if there's a tracing pixel in involved, an ongoing management involved, extra fast delivery. You can add any extras that you like. Once you're done, um, you can click save and continue. And what you can fill in for the basic standard and premium package, you can literally copy what this guy has listed on his um, or on this gig's profile. And then your pricing, you can choose for the premium, let's say $120. For the standard, you can choose, uh, let's say $70. And then for the basic, you can maybe choose, let's say $35. So you're making good profits. Um, on, on this guy's ad, you're obviously adding a markup. So you can see $20 is marked up to 35, 15 to 17, 120, or 95 to 120. You can add any extras if you'd like, but you don't, I'm not going to add any. Once you're done, you can click save and continue. You'll see it will then say briefly describe your gig. Um, so for a description, you can come to the same gig, um, that you basically drop servicing. You can see there's a massive about section here. So you can basically copy this if you want to rename it to some of your own words. Um, so, are you looking for somebody to set up a high target conversion sales campaigns? Do you think your Facebook ad campaign is not profitable? So basically use the information, maybe make some of this into your own words. Don't copy it word for word. You can click save and continue. And then if there's any requirements, so you can say um, any if, if there's any requirements that you need. So for example, uh, name of the Facebook ad campaign. For example, uh, if it's a dentistry shop or business, um, then you obviously need the business name that you can name the, t the Facebook ads, etc. So you can click maybe add for that. You can click save and continue. Then it will take you to the gallery page. Okay, so on the gallery page, you can drop a video or photo. So you can literally take this photo or some of these photos here. You can open them and save them as a picture and upload it to the same gig, for example. Then you can come to Facebook. Go to images and you can download or let's go Facebook ads. Sorry, Facebook ads. You can see you can use some of these pictures here that you want to save. You can make sure they're non-copyright. You can upload them to the gallery of your fiber gig. You can add any PDFs if you have like a tutorial in text document. You can add that as a PDF file. Once you're done with that, um, for example, I'm just going to use this one. Facebook ads placement optimization tricks, for example. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to upload this to my gig. So I'm going to go browse and just go to the file where I save that. 
Once it's done, you can click save and continue. And you'll see, once you're ready, you can click publish and then your gig is started. I'm not going to publish this as, as this was just a, um, an example for this video, but that is how you can publish a gig on Fiverr.com and earn $200 basically in two weeks without doing any of the work. You can drop service any other gigs. You can drop service as many gigs as you want to. And as I say, you can scale your business up to six figures um, a year if you want to, you know, really grow. And what you can also look at doing is starting your own website. So drop service your, these services on your own website. Have a look at investing in your own website for like $20, $30 a month and sell gigs on your own website with your own branding to really make your business seem more professional. Um, but if you want to get started with Fiverr for free, you can get started on Fiverr for free with your own gigs. Um, this is how you basically set up that profile. So I hope this video helped you guys a lot. Um, so if you have any questions on how to sign up or if you have problems with signing up on Fiverr.com, message me on Instagram. My Instagram is on my channel banner or in the description of this video. You can find it anywhere and message me and I'll respond to you privately on exactly how you can do this. But until then, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Really got an awesome strategy for tomorrow. Um, so subscribe if you're new to the channel and you can get tomorrow's video with the bell on so I can send you that notification. But until then, take care and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.